I think we uh I think we're straight to go, man. Y'all know I've been having technical difficulties over here on KOT for Q Reacts. So I think I figured it out. So we should get the videos more regularly now. So shout out to y'all because we hit 150,000 subscribers on this channel, which is way more than I ever expected, especially for just a reaction channel. It's a lot different than what I normally do, but y'all have been loving it. So I'm going to continue to bring it. Uh, today we're talking about street ball moments, man. You know those moments you're like, did he really take that shot? Did he really do that move in the NBA game? Yeah, he's doing that. So we got 11 minutes of straight bangers. Let's get it. Right off rip, starting off with the play. LeBron throwing the lob up to Anthony Davis, man. We've already seen this in a couple videos, but it is what it is. You know, LeBron makes things look so effortless. And I think it was uh, Spencer Dinwiddie on Twitter recently. He was like, just because it looks effortless doesn't mean it, it is effortless. And I think I think that's very important that you remember when you see stuff like this. If Kyrie would have made this shot, bro, this is like one of his first games in the Barclays Center as a part of the, the Brooklyn Nets. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he would have, he said he did this on accident. You know, he didn't really want to do that but then again when you look at it it just looked like he tried to do it on purpose and that goes back to the effortlessly effortlessly oh jamal crawford the king of the street ball come back here oh my god oh my god who's number 17 i can't even see who that is but it, I, I honestly can't even see who the heck is that is that no I, i'm sorry y'all know i have this thing where i need to know every single player on the court at all times who the heck was that Bro, I literally don't recognize that face. This is the first time in a video where I don't recognize somebody's face. First time ever in one of these videos that I don't recognize a face. Mm. I got to Google number 17 Houston Rockets and, and figure that out because that is super important to me. Uh, Steph Curry, come back. Otto Porter, this is before this is before Otto Porter became a bull. So this is before he became legendary. JK, he's never, he's never been legendary. He probably never will. Number 17... Houston Rockets. Oh, Paul George. Hold on. This is MVPG 13 against Kelly Oubre. You see how he sized them up? And you look Kelly Oubre to like that. Like, come on, bro. We ain't, we not at Rutgers Park. We in the NBA. Some skip to my loot type stuff. And then tried to bang him. But he didn't really move much. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. It was cool. But he ain't really moving much. Number 17. I mean, it wasn't, that was not PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker wears number 17 now. I want to look through the history of Houston. Mm, mm, mm. Jamal Crawford is, is that man. Number 17 in their team's history. Isaiah Taylor? I guess that was Isaiah Taylor. He was in the league for just two years, so that's why I don't remember. Kyrie, the sham god is so nasty, man. In tra like in transition sham god? These are the type of plays where I look at like, I can do that at the gym. And then I try that and I just infinitely terrible. Oh, good pass, Seth. Good pass, Seth. Usually you'll see Luka making a pass like this, but Seth Curry looking good. I like Steph, Seth Curry's um, Seth Curry's story. You know what I'm saying? Like, people think that he may have just been in the league because his dad and then his brother. But Seth Curry's actually a hooper. You know, one of the best three-point shooters of all time, uh, statistically. Just talking about percentage-wise. Uh-oh. Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford, this is the beginning of the 2K layup package. Kirk Heinrich is one of my guys. Honestly, I got like a Kirk Heinrich basketball car somewhere in this room. And it's like, he couldn't hang. You couldn't hang. This is the same game, by the way, from that first Kyrie Irving shot. Same game. He just mixing people. Mm, mm, mm. But yo, that Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford? This is really the king. Okay, now we got James Harden. Come here, come here. Size up. Oh my gosh, shift team. Shift team and the oop up. See, now they don't have that. Now they don't have that lob threat. PJ Tuck ain't going to get that one. More Kyrie Irving, beautiful. All from this season, bro. Kyrie is just the king of the... St I can't, I can't, bro. Wow. He just sauced up the whole squad. Isaac Bonga, come here, snatch. Oh, don't jump. Oh, who is that? Mm, Yamahimi, got him with the pump fake. My goodness, my goodness. LeBron, between his legs. To, oh, my God, Superman. You know what I'm saying? Superman comes through. Soaring. I love stuff like this, bro. I love a good crossover. I love a good assist. Chris Paul. Man, I have this dance. Mr. Rodney Magruder. The sham god. The sham god can be so nasty and so quick that you don't really realize how effective that was. He sham that was Willie Reed, he shammed God. Willie Reed went the whole different direction thinking the pass was going to Brandon Bass. Mm. Just watch this again. Come back here, Rodney Magruder. Nice pick. 
Sham guy gets the big man, makes him sink, and then he gets the mid-range jumper. John Wall. John Wall. Hold on, Marshane Gortat. Because there it is. <laughs> Mar I'm telling you, Marshane made a lot of money just by being at the right place at the right time, setting some hard old screens, and having Steve Nash and John Wall set him up for greatness. Come on, man. What happens when, when they're not there? Oh, rookie. Ja. Oh, have I never seen that before? Have I been asleep? Have I never seen that play before this season? Kyrie. Uh-oh. Between his legs. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You ever see a play that gets you lost for words? Because that's what I get with Kyrie Irving a bunch, bro. And he, he like, you would see something like that and be like, oh, he's going to miss some of them. No, nope, Kyrie Irving like 100% on plays like that. Looked at him. Looked at him. Looked at him, bro. Milos Tandos is trying to save him by getting the getting the close out. But where's Wesley Johnson being since this play? He not playing in the NBA. I'll tell you that much. He ain't been in the NBA. This is uh Stephen Curry's behind the back pass to Kevin Durant, right? Oh no, this is him off the backboard. Oh no, not off the backboard, just throwing it live. My fault, my fault. I get my clips mixed up every once in a while. Just split second decision. I'm gonna touch it, touch pass. Up to KD, who's going to go up and throw it down. Come on, man. That man is amazing. Some more Chris Paul. You know we love to see it. Between his legs. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is that Quincy Pondexter? Get out of the way, Quincy. Between his own legs. It draws the foul. They say Chris Paul's six feet, bro. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't believe it until I meet that man. He definitely 5'11", 5 5'10". 5 okay. The Sham got action, then behind the back to Jaron Jackson Jr. That connection is going to be great for so many years, yo. So many years. I just wish we were still seeing basketball, bro. The last two days, I've been watching so many highlights. So I'm like, bro, can we get something new? Kevin Hurd, a pull up three. Miss. Miss. John Collins. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know Derrick Jones Jr. was going up for it. He just know he was going up for it. Because that's what he do. Look at the young Bam out of Bayo right there. Young Bam out of Bayo. Before he was an all-star. Before he was a starter, Bam out of Bayo. Sam got. And then pass to. Yep. Yep. Come on, man. Russell Westbrook is nasty in transition. Nasty in transition. Do you know how, how like, mentally stable you have to be to be on a fast break and do something like that because everything is happening like this oh yeah come here man i have this dance uh, bro i can watch this play over and over creating so much space mm -hmm. rajon rondo good pass javel mcgee miss get his own board steph curry this is the behind the back four yes that's the behind the back four my, again, I get my clips mixed up. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was going to be in here sometime because that's a nasty pass. He didn't have to do all of that. He could have just thrown it regularly. But he was giving the fans a show at the Staples. Kyrie. Ky Kyrie might have to be the hardest player to guard one-on-one -on -one in the NBA, guard-wise. Because I can't guard Giannis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guard-wise, I don't think there's a, there's not many people in the NBA that can stand in front of that man when he wants to get to the basket or he want to make something happen. Sham God, Tyler Eulis, pass off to Steven Adams. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Y'all saw Dragon Bender? What a waste of a draft pick. Trey Young, the Namidi, smack. Hey, he told me that that's, that's his go-to move. Eventually, the league is going to... You know, realize this is what he does all the time. You know what I'm saying? Then maybe that move becomes obsolete because everybody knows it's probably coming. Oh, Martian Gortat. Give it back to him. Don't know what to do, Martian. No. <laughs> oh, man, bro. Those are the shots you have to make. You have to make it. If you get somebody like that, you have to get the shot up and make it. Okay. Kemba, fast break. He sees Jalen Brown trailing him. Good pass. Good pass, Kemba. That's the right move because uh, TJ Warren, like, he was going to put that on the glass <laughs> if, if Kemba would have stick suck with it. Come back here, LaMarcus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's late game, too. Five minutes left. I love this arena, by the way. I've been there. I've been there twice now. One of my favorite arenas in the NBA. It's so nice. It's so nice. Blakey Blake. He didn't have to do this. 
He doesn't have to do this. But that's what street ball is. It's just being extra. It's literally just being extra. Moves that you don't need to do, but you do them anyway. Like, you don't have to do that. That's Raul Nato. He won't go keep up with you either way. Uh-oh. Best Sam got in the NBA? Might, might, might be the best Sam got in the NBA, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jamal. <laughs> oh, man. What do you do about it? You can't do anything. That's what you do about it. You just let it happen. Oh, all-star game. Brandon Knight. No. Brandon Knight lowlights. Starting right here. Rising stars. Welcome to the league, my G. And I think he got him like two more times this game, bro. Jeez. Nasty. Nasty. Seth Curry. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Gary Neal, where are you going? Where are you going, bro? I've been watching a lot of Warriors highlights over the past uh, day or so. Mostly just because I tweeted that I missed the, uh, Clay Thompson. I just do, bro. Everything about that man on the basketball court is, is so fun to watch. Mm. Mm, and the high arc and floater. Mm. Montrez. Don't jump. Gary Temple tried to help him, but it's not much you can do. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. The Hezzy. The Hezzy. Oh, my. The man Valentun is in know what to do. And look, 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 look. Look at the bench. Look at their bench and look at Solomon Hill if you see him. You're going to see him on the replay. Look at their bench and look at Solomon Hill's reaction. Oh, wait. You don't see him, right? Nope, nope. What? Nope, nope. Where, what the heck? What did I just see? Solomon Hill's reaction was like, Ooh, I can't believe he did that to my homie. I can't believe he did that to my homie, but he did. Mm -mm -mm. Man, just Trey Army twin his own legs. I was at this is the game I was at. I was at this game. I was at this game. I was at this game, bro. I was at this game. And I was like, y'all know I work for House of Highlights, and I had to I had to hit them up in the group chat like, you need to put that on the Instagram page because that was nasty. Come here, Rondo. Trey Burke, uh, get out of here, young boy. What are you gonna do? Mm -mm -mm. A lot of Rondo highlights too, there. Just lost the whole team. She's getting frozen on the court. A lot of Ja Morant. Shout out to Ja. He's just been in the league for like, what, 60 games? 65 games? And he's on the highlight reel. Oh, Shout out to Ja, man. Shout out to Ja. And I think that might be it. All right, y'all. Um, I appreciate y'all watching this. Be sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. We keep it going, man. Banger after banger.